the opposition free national movement is calling for an apology and the resignations of the Minister of the Environment, the Minister of Health, the Minister of Education and the Attorney General. The FNM says those leaders failed to reveal the findings of a leakage of fuel at the Rubas gas station back in 2013. Opposition leader the Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis says the oil spill is one of the worst health crises in this country and has exposed thousands of Marathon residents to hazardous chemicals that can cause more harm than good to their health. The PLP government was aware that the soil, well water used by some residents for bathing and washing, and the air they breathe were contaminated by the human carcinogen benzene that causes cancer, specifically leukemia, damages to women's reproductive organs, damages to the immune system, increasing the chances of infections. Additionally, the opposition leader said the government has done a terrible job in informing the residents on the impact of the spill and is now asking them to begin the screening and testing of residents and to also implement proper warnings and health information so they can further protect themselves. The opportunity for monitoring and risk reduction to persons were deliberately denied. The Ministry of Health has been non existent in this health crisis and chose not to monitor or medically assess all exposed persons from the date of identification of this environmental disaster. There is now no way, no way of retroactively determining any individual's net or total exposure. Rubis has said in a statement that it has taken all necessary and possible actions to, rem to remediate the impacted areas and to avoid any risk to neighbors. Rubis said that recent samples taken from the soil and the water table in areas impacted by the spill have confirmed that there are no free hydrocarbons present in the soil and that the levels of hydrocarbons present in the water table have declined. Rubis officials have also said that all of the recommendations made by government have been incorporated into the re remediation act plan over the past few years and they are in constant communication with government on all issues pertaining to the Robinson Road incident.